Masters Vessel Classical Academy, Primary Section. On the Roll. Hello, children. My name is Mrs. Madhu Fevo. I'm to teach senior primary. And the subject we are going to teach now is social studies. Okay. Chidima, what did you eat last night? Gary, very good. Emmanuel, what about you? What did you eat this morning? Oh, you ate right. Very good. All these things we have mentioned now is called food. Okay, by the end of this lesson, we are going to, by the end of this lesson, we are going to explain what is food. List three examples of food and draw them. Number three, says reason why eating food. Okay? The meaning, number one says, food is anything we eat, drink, or take into our body for energy and help us grow. I want to underline energy and grow. Can we read the meaning of food? Class, read what is on the board. Okay, very good. Food is anything we eat, drink, or take into our body to give us energy and help us grow. This is the meaning of food. Can we read it together, everybody? That's very good. They have all gotten that. 
Now we said we have examples of food as we have mentioned before. Examples of food. Michael, what is this? Oh, very good. Beans. Emmanuel, what is this? This is saying to me. Look at it very well. Okay, rice. Very good. Nkechi. Banana. Very good, but look at it very well. Plantain. Very good. Thank you. You have all tried. Examples of food. Number one, he said beans. What did I write on the board, Nkechi? Very good. Beans. She made the word that draw in number two. Okay, rice. Good. Number three is what? Gary. Okay. What does it? Gary, these are the examples of food. Beans. Rice. Gary. Plantain. Bread. And so on. Okay, we have reasons for eating food. Reason for eating what? Food. We have reasons for eating food. Cheese it there. Why do you eat food? Okay, very good. To stay alive.
Everybody read it. Read number one. To stay alive. Number two. To protect. To protect and nourish our body. Everybody say it. Very good. Number three. Emmanuel, can you try and give me another example? Very good. To fight against germs and the diseases. Everybody read what is on the board. To fight against germs and the diseases. We have other reasons. Destiny. Give us another reason. To grow. Very good. We also eat our food in order to what? Do, to grow. We also eat food in order to grow. Number four, to grow. If you didn't eat in the morning before coming to school, can you stay in the class and learn very well? No. You say, I want to eat. So you eat food in order to do what? Grow. These are the reasons why for eating what? Food. Can we take it from number one? To stay alive. Everybody say it. Number two, to protect and nourish our body. Number three, to fight against germs and the diseases. When you eat your food, it will help your body to fight against germs and diseases. Number four, to grow. When you eat your food, these are the reasons why we eat food. These are the reasons why we eat Food. So you eat food in order to grow, in order to fight against germs and diseases, in order to stay alive. Yes, to stay alive. If you refuse to eat before coming to school, you not learn well. John, can you learn well? John, you cannot learn well. Very good, you can't learn well when you refuse to eat. But if you eat your food in the morning, or when you take your food at night, you will sleep well. If you refuse to eat at night, you will not sleep well. So we eat to stay alive, to protect and nourish our body. When you eat food, it helps to nourish your body. To fight against germs and diseases. And that one, to grow. Then we have the last one, to have energy.
Energy to do what? Energy to walk. Energy to write. To have energy. The last one, to have energy. You eat your food in order to have strength to do your work. In order to have strength to learn very well. So, number one, I said, say the meaning of food. You said that food is anything we eat, drink, or take into our body to help us grow. When you eat food, you grow very well. And I said the examples of food are beans, rice, bread, plantain, dairy, yam. So many of them. We have a lot of food. So when you eat all these things, you will grow, you will have strength to walk, you will, it will help to fight against germs and the diseases. Okay, before that, in our next class, in our next class, you are going to submit to me the homework I'm going to write on the board. Make sure you write them very well and submit it. Number two. Number one says, state the meaning of food. Number two. Number three. Number four. Let's take the homework again. Number one says, state the meaning of food. List at least four examples of food. Number three, give three reasons for eating food. Number four says, draw three examples of food. Write it and submit it. Next time, our next lesson, we'll do correction on it. Thank you. Remain safe. I'm Steve. This is Pebble Magic. Thank you.